Hello and welcome back to Stump the Scientist. This week's question is, how does matter hold itself together because opposite charges in every atom should push apart? Okay, first of all we have to understand that all electrical charges come in two varieties, positive and negative. You probably know that from school. And the fact is that opposite charges attract. Positive and negative charges attract, and the same charges repel. So two positive charges or two negative charges repel. Now, in an atom, we find that it's constructed of a cloud of electrons, which are negatively charged, which move around a very small center nucleus, which is positively charged. Here we have negative charges on the outside and a positive charge on the, in, on the inside, so they attract. So it's not much of a mystery why the atom should hold itself together. They're attracting each other. When we look a little closer, however, there is a bit of a mystery here. In the nucleus, we, except for one particular atom, we have a number of positive charges because the positive charges in the nucleus reside on particles we call protons. Each proton has one positive charge. And there are, except for one particular case, more than one proton in the nucleus. So the question may be, since these positive charges repel each other, why does the nucleus of the atom hold together? The reason for this is that there is another force in nature we call the strong force. The strong force acts between all the particles that are in the nucleus, the protons and the neutrons, and it's an attractive force between these particles. It turns out that this force exists only at a very short range, but the nucleus is very small, and so it works quite well within the nucleus. And uh, furthermore, it's quite strong. As the name implies, it's a stronger force than the electromagnetic force or the electrical force that tries to push apart the positive charges in the nucleus. And so that's why the nucleus is stable and holds itself together. Now, matter is built, of course, of an aggregation of atoms through various chemical bonds, and so there's no particular problem with any electrical repulsion as we go to higher levels of aggregation of matter because the atoms themselves are electrically neutral. They have as many positive charges as negative charges. So that's the general story for why matter is stable with regard to its electric charges.